Hello and welcome back to Big Big Plays Herbs Sims and the City. Uh, what do we need to do? We, oh, we need to make Hickory at the stop. Yes, yeah, so we can play the final mini game. Be careful. There is booby tripped. Booby tripped. Right, booby booby tripped. Yeah, booby tripped. And this is probably. Yeah, we got like eight minutes. So we're gonna duck into the tree for a bit. And come back out. Oh, what's here? Oh, we found some beads. And now. <laughs> Hello there, Pipsqueak. You think you've got what it takes to beat me, villain? Rising up your bow, red man. Let's play. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop you hard, I guarantee. Little fiddler, timing is everything in this musical duel. It's a match blows with the nefarious redman. Watch his pattern closely and follow his lead exactly. No mistakes or suffer the consequences. Yeah, this is pretty much the easiest one there is. All it is is basic basic uh Simon says it's better when in the later ones where it's longer because uh yeah and it's also basically a good riff on the devil went down to Georgia, which is also a fun thing. Congratulations, I became a prodigy. You pulled a wicked bow, kid. I am forever humbled at your feet. Take this small trinket as a show of respect. It's all I have apart from a spare boot. Told you once, you son of a gun, I'm the best there's ever been. Come on back any old time. You want to play music for a little money? Same time, same place. Yeah, now I gotta go speak to Clem. My life in the bayou. <gasps> and for Merle. In a past life, my last life, that crass and unfriendly Morris of life, I was at one time called a name which remains. And from Earl to this day, heed me, mortal. Awesome. This is cool. Oh, and he's very into stuff. Like, really? Just, oh, he doesn't like compliments. He likes the lounge, though, which is weird. Oh, he doesn't like being entertained. But he likes art. And a university. And hobbies. And jobs are indifferent. Oh, uh, he doesn't like apologies. He likes shopping. And travel. And science. And rumors. And Minneapolis. And the newspaper. And ninjas, and dancing, and travel. He likes a lot of stuff. He's wasn't wow. He doesn't like sure. Likes work. Likes music. Likes the museum. Likes the world. Games. That'll do. That'll that'll do, pig. Oh shit! Shit! Ah. Uh. Oh, I didn't think there would be two there. That was scary. License plate, though, so we'll take that. I need to bump up these stats because I was spent all night fiddling with the red man. Plus, it wouldn't help. It would help. Oh, I'm tired. I was up all night. I was up for ten, for eight hours fiddling with the dead man. Ten hours with the dead man, wow. Midnight to ten, man. Midnight to ten, baby. Ten hours. Ah, crap, I didn't want to go there. I want to go up the stairs. Man. They have a gator mounted on their, uh, chimney mantle. I guess you would call it. But I have yet to see a gator. I've seen some evil fly traps. 
Clem. Hi there, Shitty Slicker. Boo tells me that you've seen the albino gay boy and Max fiddles with the red man. Darn too. You don't have a scrap of evidence to prove it. Nice try, kiddo. I always knew you city folks were big favors. I'm gonna compliment you, man. Talk about the cosmos. Yeah. You like dancing? Like, you don't like weather. But how about a joke? Them aliens, right? Science. That brought me down a lot, didn't it? Uh, shibby. You don't like shopping. Construction's good. Construction's good. You don't like the world. Alright. You don't like TV. Come on. You like hobbies. You don't like the carnival, that's right. Yeah, travels and cosmos is good. You like the bad puns at the bayou, that's for sure. Uh, you like cooking. Super bad, supernatural, no. He doesn't like supernatural, but he likes the cosmos. Uh, construction's good. I want to tell a secret or compliment. He likes cooking, he likes cooking. Buy you. Talk about your hobbies. Cosmos. I honestly don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I think. I... Alright, you don't like the world. Talk about your home. You don't like work. Talk about buy you. You don't like supernatural, that's right. Oh, uh, hobbies. How do I let them let me out again? Man, I spent all day talking to Clem. Huh. I have no evidence, right? No, I have the antique locket. That's what I that's what they need. I didn't need to talk to Clem. For all that time. I just had to show him the locket. Alright, that was, that was actually it wasn't also that bad to uh to get to know him more. So there's that. However, my bull my pals in the city are probably missing me. Clem, clem, clem. Yeah, uh, big B, yo. What's this? My goodness gracious, it's my mom's old locket. How did you do this? How did you find this? Golly, that's something else. I suppose those two aren't so bad after all. Now, will you help me out of here? You betcha. How about we show you the way out, way home? Talk to Boo. He knows the way. Give him the locket for proof, okay? Thanks, Clem. Good luck with your smoothie brewery. Uh oh, did Boo tell you about that? Gosh, thanks a million, kiddo. Stay safe. Oh, wait, you don't like Supernatural. Just because I'm probably never going to come back here, I want, to, I want these guys to at least... Yeah, that's fine. 76. Got some more beads. A lot of redwood over here. A lot of redwood. Oh! Three-eyed toad! Alright, hopefully Boo is over by the exit. Raspberries. Because if he's not, then that means I have to wait until tomorrow. Ooh, another three-head toad. 
<laughs> Hello there, Pipsqueak. Think you got what it takes to be as best by fiddling? Uh No, maybe some other. I didn't think so, kitty. Can't stand the heat, huh? No, I need I want I wanna get out of here. Holy gator spit, this is Mama's locket. How'd you get this? You actually talked to those two? Darn it, kid. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Also, okay, you're right. Uh, it's just through this mausoleum door here, but... Uh, got the way in. No, no, it's just through there. But it's like we were saying earlier. There's vampires living in the bayou, and we're pretty sure one lives in there. Look, boo. Sure, gator boys and red men exist, but vampires are not real. Yeah. No fooling? No fooling. Guess I can't argue with that logic. Okay, Bigby. Watch your step. We're sneaking back to the city. Bye, you style. Bye, you style just means playing fiddle. So it's just this way then, boo? Um, what? Okay, that's just a clock. Uh, and, well, Boo's gone, so there's that. Yay, now we get to talk to Grandma. How far are we into the quest list? We still have three more to go. For this chapter. I like how there are nice air. Good heavens, child, where have you been? When word got around that you were last seen talking to Daddy Big Bucks, people started getting started to get pepper hard. People actually noticed I was gone? People down near rioted when you vanished and Daddy B had no choice to, but to open the city center. Glass Town is open to the public once again. Yay, I can visit my first apartment might not even recognize it. Whatever you do, keep your head on straight. Daddy B has been bending laws left and right to get his way. He practically runs the place. Yay, Glass Town is open. However, I can't ride my motorcycle anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sadly. Oh, that's right. We have to walk everywhere. We can't run. There's no shot. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Hey, Grandma. Please, please, please avert your eyes. Don't come closer. Oh. She wants to stare at the booty. She wants in the booty. Please step off. Pay fine is a hundred dollars. Whatever. Now we can't run. Bigby, just the person I want to see. You aren't gonna believe what I'm what I'm about to tell you. Don't tell me what I am or I am not going to believe. Uh you're from Mars. No, I'm from uh forget it. Listen. I just got word that the city council voted to ban running within the city limits. Wait, running is illegal? Yeah, according to the man who sponsored the law, running is bad for the street and causes too much noise pollution. Is he who I think he is? Who else could it be? Daddy Big Bucks himself. He used his money and influence to introduce the law and swing to the vote. What can we do? I rely on running. I don't know. I think this law was made just to spite you. To stop this craziness before it gets out of hand, someone should write a letter to the governor. Yes, someone should definitely do that. Yes, indeed. But who? Wait. You could find someone. You know almost everyone in town. Good. But the only problem is, the governor's on vacation. Looks like I have to take the... But he's on Paradise Island. An expensive resort. Far from here. Unless you can find someone with lots of free time and their own transportation, it's not going to happen. Okay, we'll sort this out. Right. Good. But, uh, remember. 
If I catch you running, I'm illegally, I'm legally obligated to arrest you. So stay slow. Got it. Find someone to write a letter. Well, I think I know one person who can. I can't run, but can I? Yes, I can. So I need to be careful. I think he can write a letter. What's up? Nope, you can't write a letter for me. Who's the person who can write the letter for me? Uh, any of you college dweebs? What about you? Nope. That guy's just sleeping in class. Just gotta test my limits, man. Can you write a letter? Nope. Come here, ask me why I'm smiling. Go on, ask me why are you smiling, Roxanne? Because the carnival is officially open as of today. I'm working again. No, I just need a good act. What act are you planning? I'm not sure. I know I want a sidekick. An animal of some kind. A smart dancing animal, in fact. I could wear a fur coat. Not going to cut it, buddy. No, I think I'll have to search around the bayou and the river just for such a wild creature. If I get you a dancing creature, can I get you? Sure. Absolutely. I'll give you free run of the whole carnival. But we won't be putting on a show until we raise 5,000 simoleons and hire a new tightrope walker. What happened to the old one? Found out she was allergic to the rope. Strange, but that's the scoop. I won't put on the show if it's just me and my dancing creature. We have to give people the money's worth. Why not just put on your own show for now? No, that's not fair to the audience. I won't put on a show if it's just me and my dancing creature. We have to give people their money's worth. Alright, so, there we go, there's the other mission for the, for the game, for this chapter. I'm not running, it's not causing noise pollution, I'm just driving my motorcycle. I don't know who could write my letter. I would have thought that it could have been the, uh, the newspaper writer, but he's not. Hey, I wasn't even robbed. But I think uh, right here we're going to end it, so have a good day, have a good night, and I will see you all next time, guys. See ya.